What's going on guys? Rise Up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. We're playing Dangin Rampa V3 Killing Harmony on the PlayStation 4. Dangin Rampa is by Spike Chunsoft and we're jumping right in. All right, we have new game load game cross save. This is a new game. Logic difficulty. Action. Action difficulty sounds cool. Nothing. No light, no sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend that hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Ultimate Revival. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but I, as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <coughs> ah, I couldn't even brace for Im impact as a blinding pain suddenly rushed through my hand. <coughs> but thanks to the pain, I went from daze to annoyed real quick. Huh? huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a lump. I turned around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom we're all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Uh. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek, but all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here, but no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. Suddenly, the locker next to me started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt and scooted back. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um, kidnapped? Wait. Where am I? What are you going to do to me? Hey. Hey, hold on. I am f I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Huh? Huh? Uh um uh, I'm Yeah. I'm Cade. Now listen to me. Shut, it? shut up. You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Oh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. We were kidnapped by the same people. Uh, Seems like geez. it. But why? Why me? 
My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. There's no reason to kidnap me. Me okay. either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. Hey there. I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Left stick, reticle. When you have a target, X to investigate it. Right stick controls your view. R1 to smack objects. Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always use the L1 button to return objects to their original position. However, not every object can be moved. If you press the triangle button, a mysterious investigate power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can always press the options button to review the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Is this a monitor? Nothing's being displayed right now. Seriously, though, what is this? Is It really seems out of place here. Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can. Find help. Uh, yeah, okay. good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Hell yeah! Found you! What? A, a monster? <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of... Okay. Wait, 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 wait! What the hell? <laughs> Over here. Alright. Hallway. One out. Don't go that way over here. Jeez. They're everywhere. Ah, oh, jeez. What are those things? As we frantically dove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, just like oh, the last game. Awesome. Arrived. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't. It's too dangerous out there. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? 16 high schoolers. Rise of the Ultimates. Oh. All right, didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. I'm sorry, but... What? Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No, nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. What? If this is what you think it is. Hey! What, you sign some kind of effing know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out. It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed through the gym. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. Dude, my favorite. <laughs> this is great. I love this. Okay, quiet, everyone. Shimmy down. Shimmy down. Oh. No, no, no. It's simmer down. What? Who's that? Where are they? 
awesome. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us. Are you serious? There are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. These aren't monsters, they're Exels. X yeah, Exels. And that's that. They're high mobility uh, bipedal weapons. Weapon pe ugh, weapons. They're <laughs> I can't even talk right now, I'm so <laughs> This is crazy. There are highly mobile, bipedal weapons platforms. Weapons? Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? Wait a minute. It wouldn't be any fun picking on a plain good for nothing commoners. You're right, we should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Please, no, not like toothpaste. Ugh, I, I just imagined it. I can't ha I can't well. handle gore. Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Please, not like string cheese either. Ah. Wait, we we can't kill them with Exels. According to the schedule, the Exels aren't supposed to show up till later. But we're in the Exels right now. Ah. Oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exels for our first appearance. I told you we should have we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these, Max? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready? Here they come. <laughs> oh man. Taro Suki. What is that? Fan A, Dan, Dan, Kid. Rise and shine. <laughs> These guys are nuts, man. The writers of this game, I, I just can't imagine what, what's going through their minds. Huh? See, we're out of the exiles. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You, guys ready? you punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell. Too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. What's the hellish mean? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Monocoons. Moving stuffed animals? Monocoons? Wait, you guys call yourself the Monocoons? Oh, don't bother asking Mono Dam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Mono Dam? Monodam, you won't open up your heart to me. I see. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Shut up. All oh, you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That shouldn't should have happened before they woke up. Answer my question. If you guys are the monocubes, then... Hey, who the hell are you, punks? Huh? huh? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me either. I don't have any talents. Yeah, same here. I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Mono Fanning, weren't you in charge of that? She's sleeping. Did she seem really tired to you guys? She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking it, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. If you say so. Anyway, if you guys really are the Monocombs, then don't worry about us. The real issue is use bastards. Well, issue is putting it mildly, this is actually a huge problem. 
Confuse all have forgotten your talents and become a ge generic high school student. Huh? Forgotten? So. See, according to the backstory, there is this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need to, uh, you guys to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you guys keep asking us so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. <laughs> Just like that. What, what am I wearing? Looking good, now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates, really? So... Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. The killing game? Right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. you want to save yes all right so let's take this time to kind of fill you guys in if this is like your first experience with Danganronpa basically in one of the previous games uh, what happens is a very similar beginning there's these high school students they're called ultimates and they all have wicked special talents like they're really good at something um, like ridiculously good and they're in this special high school for all the best uh, kids at their certain specific talent um, and those are the ones that get taken um, and brought into the killing game so this is very similar except for these guys seem to be normal students I don't know if they really forgot their talents or if they really are normal I don't know we'll see Ultimate Revival. Huh? I stumbled out of the locker in a daze. Oh, it's the same. It's the same way. It's the same lines as the first time. Deja vu. I mean, this is identical. Wonder why we can't yeah. skip this. Yeah, that's right. There we go, this is new. Rise and shine, Earth sign. Rise and shine, Earth sign. Huh? 
teddy bear. No, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You, humi <laughs> you humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree. I'm glad I was born with this, with these looks. I definitely won the gen <laughs> gen genetic lottery. <clears throat> What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not monocooms. We're the stuffed animals. Hey, Mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals, us. The con <laughs> the monocooms, them. Oh jeez, it's even worse now. Uh, monocooms? You've heard of us? No, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these monocoom things started looking at each other, and yay, it worked. They had me worried for a second. Um, hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. All right, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotero. He's like a sixth, sixth grader helping out a fifth grader, which means we shouldn't keep our expectation reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a high school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Acad Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. Right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 huh? Cretans. 16? Right. Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Ultimates? You know. You know what Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodig prodigious in a particular talent. Big words. Basically, the ultimate initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts, um, like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by the ultimate initiative are known as ultimates. Hell yeah, Hell yeah students do anything for the honor of being chosen ultimate. Um, I don't need an explanation. I already know because I am an ultimate too. That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up. Shut up. Quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started with what? So. Why, exploring this academy, of course. Well. Also, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all going to do an activity together. Awesome. I've got a rager right now. Well then. So long, bear well. Shoot. Ah, they left, but I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? Uh, no, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16. Doesn't that mean he's one too? student too yeah well then I'm they call me the ultimate detective but all right now we know what he is beautiful lie huh you're a detective that's amazing I don't have the credentials to call myself detective yet I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that not many people can just not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My name is my Kate. Name is I'm the Kaede. I'm the ultimate pianist. Pianist. Okay. She plays piano. Pianist. No one calls me the ultimate pianist. Usually they call me a piano freak. Ever since I was a child, there were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts. That's how you got your ultimate title? No, that's all I'm good for, really. <sighs> but this is my first time meeting another ultimate. Well, um, 
There's 16 here. Where is everyone? I don't remember. You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up in that locker, that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. You know? What happened? She remembers. No. I'm fine, I just got a headache. But... Um... What happened to us? Nothing to worry about. Right? We're confused. That's... Just relax. Is that music? I don't know much about music. I see the that's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. Let's look for a way out. You're right. Ooh. Obtain friendship fragment. You can leave a room by pressing the circle button. Greenery, barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Even though it's a hallway, there should there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. And the air is heavy. This is a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? What's the matter? Uh, um. Remember. Uh. Um. The monopad. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed on it when I booted it up. Let's let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. Press the square button to open the monopad. It's got tons of game information in it. Stuff like the report card and map. If you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed. By getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. She Sehara, his info has already been added. And I bet you've also, also already noticed you can level up by performing actions. When you level up, your skill slots increase. There are a lot of cards. If you want skills, make friends. Be sure to test out all the skills. There's one more important thing. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure to save all the important information, important stuff. Well then, off, off you go. Find your classmates. Okay. You're right. Is this the music room? Huh? The one open. It does look like it was made for me. They hear again. What do you think this is? Check out all the fancy schmancy writing. It isn't this an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why would you tell them? I'm sorry. Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? Keep honoring your ultimate talent so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab. Well, actually, Most of them are still hidden. The research lab is still locked is... is... because we're still setting up everything. Sorry. Just wipe your asses and wait. That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Monodim. Right now. So long, <laughs> um. Hey. Hmm. 
I thought this was a music room. I really wanted to play the piano. she not hear me? Hello? Huh? She still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. I don't think that's the case. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Um, maybe she is just a doll, but she looks so real. Just do it. It's fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek, I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Ah! So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? That's rude. Well, it's not rude, but it's fine. I feel, it. I feel like talking now. Let's talk. What do you want to start with? My favorite dorm on episode is 53. Can you tell us your name? My name is Kamugi Shirogami. She's an ultimate cosplayer. Awesome. You're a cosplayer. Are you surprised? I get that a lot. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you've got people oogling all, all your curves on a daily basis. You sound like a creepy old man. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain offen ex <laughs> expensive, not offensive. Uh, oh well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Yeah. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Hey. That's amazing. Yeah, that's right. What were you thinking hard about earlier? We need to ask her that. Nice job. It's from that one thing. That bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Um. Seems like it's floating, right? You're right, it is out of place. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird. There's trees and grass inside. Actually, We're the only people here. Um, What's wrong? Uh -huh. That frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> this again? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Kate. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah, let's try to find a way out. Obtain friendship fragment. Her report card has been updated. Okay. So now there's three. No. Uh, Maybe it's uh, part of the art collection. Okay. <laughs> Hallway 1F. Hey, this is where we were earlier with all the monsters. Or the robots, whatever you want to call them. Should we go right or left? Let's go right. Girls' bathroom. And this is the girls' bathroom. You know? Do you mind waiting here? Uh, okay. Sure. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. Sorry. Girls' bathroom. Um. Toilets seem normal. Weird that there's plants in here. 
The monitor is way too high tech to be used in a school. This is the boys' room. I can't go in there. Um, I could look. Huh? I'm not that curious what's in there. Remember, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. He opened the door. It was just a normal bathroom. Normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. Lots of bars. Blocked off. That's all blocked off. It's kind of weird that this is all blocked. Maybe we should have went left. Alright, what's next? Let's try a couple more doors. Crash your mesh. Come on, be unlocked. Nice. Alright, we're good. Wait, is this where we started from? No. Hey, wait for me. It's a new person. Two new people. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing that other boy. What's happening here? Blackboard. We already know the LCD screen. Monitor. We already know that. Uh, barbed wire on the windows. We already know that. Alright, so let's meet this dude. Please stop! Let me touch your little body. Huh? A robot? Are you another robophobe? I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Wait, you're a robot? No. Please stop. Do not compare me to those toys. I am K1 B0. The, the ultimate, ultimate robot. robot. Alright, so he's an ultimate robot. Um. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll yes. introduce myself. I'm Kokichioma. The ultimate supreme ultimate. leader. Okay. A, ro a robot and a supreme leader. The Neither way. of them make sense. These are like weird. So these are weird uh, ultimates compared to the first one. Besides the pianist, she's normal. But the detective and the robot and the leader, these are all strange compared to the other game. With the the other one had like legit ultimates like um, best uh, athlete you know like uh -huh. ones you would think yeah I was created by professor Adabashi he installed me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain but professor raised me he taught me many things until this? finally school hey. it's just like everyone else hey do you robots hey. have dicks Please do not ask ridiculous questions. I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. That's funny. I really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. What? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Because I'm a liar. Huh? It's true! I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? I'm not telling you. This is crazy. It's a secret organization. You haven't heard of it because it, it, it's secret. Everything he said so far has sounded like a lie. Just leave him alone. Everything he says is a lie. Of course, you're not a suspicious person because robots aren't people, silly. Brr. Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I, can't. I don't have that function. You're boring. What a weird boy. He must be joking around. Okay, we got a friendship fragment for Ko 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 Kokichi. The ultimate leader. Alright. Alright. 
disappointed. Who creates a rocket without a rocket punch? <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Who creates a rocket without a rocket punch? That is classic. I... I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. All right, let's get out of here. Would you like to leave? Yes. How many are we going to meet? All 16? I mean, this is a different way of meeting all the 16 people because in the other game, um, you met them all in the gym and they introduced themselves and it took forever. Stairs go down to the basement. What should we do? You want to head down? The basement might be dangerous. Let's proceed with caution. I'm in front. All right. Hallway BF. Um, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. I see. No. <laughs> Maybe we should look what? around the basement. Uh, okay. You're right. Okay, let's go. Library. Is it open? It's open. Sweet. Okay. Oh, we got two new. Uh, Two new members. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a Good library? Rock. There are books all over the place. Uh, Doesn't seem organized. No. Does that bother you? I was wondering if someone was using it huh? before. Huh? No. Someone? It's nothing. Let's investigate. Globe. What a beautiful globe. All right, let's meet two more people. Hey. Are you an ultimate student? Yeah, that's right. I'm the ultimate penis. I'm, I'm the ultimate detective. Uh, okay. Um, and what about you? Maki ultimate child ultimate caregiver. Cap. All right, we met someone new. I see. Uh, huh? Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um, but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then ch children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Mackie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin huh? with. Huh? What do you mean? So what? Nothing. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and I got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? Um... Uh, by the way, do you know anything about the yeah, monocombs? Right. Like I'd know. How would I know? Mm. Well, fair point. They're definitely involved. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Uh, what? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. Yeah. Who cares about stuffed animals um. escaping? This place is more important, seriously. You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would let us just walk out of That's here? That's not true. That's so true. That is true. Work together with strangers. You're naive. All right. We got a friendship fragment. Why didn't we get two last room? We didn't get one from both. We only got one from one. Oh, wait. She quickly headed to the library. Is there only one in here? There was only one in here, not two. That's weird. That's the first time I see a room with only one in it. That is strange. Alright, so we've been at this a uh, while now. We're still in the prologue, but their prologues definitely last a long time. You have a lot of information to take in, and you're meeting a lot of different characters. So for now... So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So I know I'm kind of abruptly ending this episode, but like I said, 
their prologues are super long because you're meeting all these different characters. There's 16 uh, that we have to meet, which I am assuming that we're going to meet them all one after another. So that's going to take quite a long time. You'll have to check out the next episode to meet the rest of the high school students. Uh, I hope you tune in for that. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.